Hello there, and welcome to another Lagombi hunt by the fabled Arbuna. Weapon class this time, the little great sword. Now, for great swords, there's no status short sword yet. They are pretty much raw damage dealers. There's a elemental one here, but it's pretty much the only variants for the great swords at this stage of the game. So we have to choose a one weapon at random and it ended up being the Kerpe sword to fill in for the missing status great sword. Hope you don't mind. Should uh, give you some feedback of uh, compared to the other great swords used before. Since it's a Barath based weapon I'm going to use a Barath armor set. Got the speed gather in, got the guard, which is useful for, somewhat useful for great swords. Plus a defense and an attack boost, and jumped out the hunger, or the negative hunger. Let's see what Chacha has from last time. Cleansers, well, paint balls into cleansers, that's not bad. Would prefer immunizers, I think I can use them better, so you can get ancient potions from them. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh no. Really no. Don't have a better choice. Not about this. Ooh, polisher. And groomer, that's actually doing nice. Oh, I've had specialist for <laughs> Just thought of the last quest with a bow. If I had us of specialist in the skill set, that would be crazy. Specialist plus uh, the status skill plus the bow focused on paralysis. Probably would have one shot paralysed. Maybe. Anyway, that's not the case here. So we're going for this. Got both skills, that's nice. And off we go after another Lacombi. Gonna give Chacha hot dish and drinks this time, and gonna take the ones from the box. Yeah, I didn't want. Oh well. Which is a quick and instead they took another item. Yeah, just to get a bit closer. Perfect. Oh, just nicely timed. Okay, don't want to go near over there. Yeah, let's come over here. Oops, missed it. Baggy's helping me a bit. Now I'm not charging a lot because it's not giving me much time to do so and hit. The two at the beginning were really amazing. I think I should have rolled forward there. I wonder if the little baggish gobs helps in causing sleep status when they hit another monster. This is going to go for a third time. Ah. Yeah. 
nice block. Not so nice there. Shame that was a blunt strike. I'm liking that even though I'm getting hit, I still managed to pull off the, the attack. Too early. Still some damage. This is what I mean. For monsters ooh, that move about a lot, pulling off successfully one of the great salt charges does require good skill. Something that most hunters like myself don't have, or not plenty of. Oh, I did dodge, but didn't manage to get through the frames in time. Managed to pull off. Gonna go for a little one more strike. Shame it didn't trip. Yeah, I was thinking I was a bit far off there. Another problem is angles. Getting the angles right is a real pain. I guess I could have pulled off a full level 3 charge reverse attack there, but. least sooner because I knew I was gonna do that. Let's go for the sharpness. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with those items. Finger slipped, wanted to dive. And there we go. Six minutes. Roughly 20 seconds, a bit below. You can carve on this game again, England. I prefer to mine. So there you go, that's the. What's it called? I can never remember the names of the swords. Curve based sword. I've used it before. I think versus the cobble. Powerful weapon. The negative affinity might gain the way occasionally, but still, you can pull off powerful attacks with it. Let's see what we have for rewards. Not much in quantity. Let's see, pelts. Don't need those bones. Armor spheres. Getting more than more of those. 
Nothing out of the ordinary. And size isn't changing much. So, this has been the Fabled Harpooner. I hope you enjoyed the hunt. See you next time. And good hunting.